take you back to the Pacquiao and Horn. We amazingly saw your rant and how you called him out. Jeff Horn, have you heard from his camp that they were trying to get you suspended from ESPN or from yeah, any no, other I, sites? Yeah, no, I heard all that stuff. I mean, there was a story written in the Australian they, paper. They don't want you on the rematch. The rematch, yeah. Hey, what? Uh, they don't even want, yeah, and anything of their I think that's the one sort. thing people appreciate about you. And I you loved it. I even tweeted him like, that is the best thing I've ever <laughs> seen from Teddy Atlas. Thank you very much. <laughs> even Thank Manny you. left. She looked at you and like, <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think Manny was happy somebody was standing up for him, you know, that somebody was saying, yeah. I mean, because Manny is such a gentleman, Manny has, look, let's be honest, Manny, Manny has his style in the ring and he has his style outside the ring. He's a humanitarian, he's a, he's a religious guy, he, you know, and he conducts himself, I mean, it's not an accident, he, he makes sure that he conducts himself in a certain manner, a certain image, that's, that's what he does, and he's, he wants to be consistent with that image, and so he, he is so into that, that he has to be gracious beyond gracious. You know, I'm sure Manny really felt like, it's kind of like the old days, remember the comic books where you had the, the figure, the guy in the comic, and you had the cloud over his head, uh, so he was saying bubble? one thing, but yeah, the thought yeah, of yeah. what he really was saying, <laughs> yeah. I, I couldn't help but think when Manny was saying, yes, yes, I, yes, very good, fight. I'm saying, he was saying, and they robbed the crap out of me. But he's, he's praying in his head too at the same time. He's <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but he yeah. couldn't, but he couldn't, but Manny couldn't do it. <laughs> but I saw that thought bubble, so I figured I'd do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> now, I mean, you know, it's it was such a controversial win that. What did you see? I know we heard it, but I just, you know, what did you really see? Because when I interviewed Jeff Horn, and he said I was going in there to bully Pacquiao, and sure enough, he did. And. What did you see in your eyes and what made He got away with it. It's not just what he did, it's what he got credit for. You know, he went out there and Horn fought a very... I'll text you later. Okay. Uh, Horn fought a very gritty fight. There's no... I, I never denied that. I said he behaved like a champion. Congratulations of, on, you know, behaving like a champion and fighting like a champion. But I wanted to be consistent with what I feel that I need to be in, tell him that behind, I don't want to be like behind his back saying what I just said, which was powerful, that he lost, and then in front of him, hey buddy, you did great, and I thought you won. No, I thought that that's phony, and, and that's not what I want to do. So I felt that I had a responsibility to get it right out of the way, and say, and but do it graciously, like a gentleman, say, look, I thought you lost, I didn't, it's not like I stomped him with it, it's not like, you know, I was, uh, I was being mean-spirited about it, or I was over the top, I just, I wanted to get out there what I had just said that he didn't wasn't privy to know him. I want him to know that. And a lot of guys I know, a lot of guys on TV, a lot of guys on radio, they don't do that. They 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 finish, they destroy somebody and then they interview him face to face. Hey buddy, you're the best. I, I love you. And, and and meanwhile they just destroyed him uh, an hour earlier. So I didn't want to do that. I, I if, if that meant he got mad, that okay, I I have to handle it. You know, I I have to be accountable for what I say. So I want to get that out of the way. I just want to say, listen, I told you lost, but I told you behave like a champion. You fought your heart out. Congratulations. And and um, and then they take it the way they want to take it, you know, afterwards. But listen, Horn fought a gritty, tough, you know, game, determined um, fight in front of his countrymen. He, there's no taking away from that. Everyone saw it. I saw it. But I didn't think he won. I mean, like I said, you don't get credit just for throwing. You got to land. Matty landed the cleaner punches in that fight. You know, to to the extent that he should have got the fight. And and I thought it was just another injustice of scoring that we see too often in boxing, way too often. And it, it, it just burns me. It really does because. We, it's like we get numb to it. It's like after a while, well, it's boxing, it's okay. No, it's not okay. It's not okay. It's wrong. You're robbing somebody. It's even worse than if you're doing it in baseball or another sport. You know why? Because in those other sports, when they go into their arena play, they're going home to their family whole. When you go into the arena play in my business, in our business, you might not go home whole. You might not even go home. So. I take it really serious. I take my platform, my medium, my, my position with a responsibility where sometimes I gotta say things for the fighters, for the sport. Uh, you know, I'm not the all great anything. I know that. But I could just take my paycheck and go home and just go fight and say what I, what I see. Or I could say, you know what? If I have a responsibility to say things that sometimes get people mad at me. 
lot of the people out there watching. Uh, definitely a lot of people in a place called Australia. And, and <laughs> down under. And, 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 but that's okay. I, I really feel that, that if I should take that position that I have in a responsible, serious way, where if I can say something that can help the fighters, help the sport, that I believe can, doesn't mean my judgment is always right, but if I truly, earnest, honestly believe it, from my judgment and from my experience in the game of 40 years, I feel that I should do that. And um, sometimes it gets me in trouble, but at the end of the day, it's something that, again, I'm, I'm not better than anybody, uh, I'm, I'm not smarter than anyone, but I try to be consistent with what the principles of what I believe in. And I believe this is a principal thing. I believe when something's wrong, somebody should say, it's wrong. And not just let it go. And um, unfortunately, I, we see a lot of wrong things in boxing sometimes. The sport is great. The sport, I love it. The sport is great. The administrators of the sport, sometimes they stink. And I'm being very polite. They stink. I don't have to use foul language. I don't think that they needed to use foul language when they promoted the McGregor um, Mayweather fight. I mean, you can get people's attention without dropping the F-bomb every second, you know? I mean, I, I don't watch a lot of comedians, but I watch one with my, my kids. My son works for local radios. He doesn't get home too often. They get one vacation a year. June and July, he came home, and I watched it with my daughter, who's pregnant. God bless, I hope she, she, she's gonna have a nice, healthy baby in October. And um, believe it or not, I can't believe I'm saying that, I'm gonna be a grandfather. And, and, um, and yeah, thank you. And you know, and um, we're sitting with our family and we're watching a comedian. He said, that's sit together, that's, you know, like when you were little, we'll watch a comedian. And we watched this guy and he had his own laugh. And he didn't say one curse. And, and, and afterwards, you know, my son said to me, "Yeah, you're right. You know, you, you know." And he's young. He's from that 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 age where you know you go out and you hear a lot of that tough language, you know, and everything. And of course, we've used plenty of it. Obviously, I'm, I'm no saint, you know, but uh, you, you don't need to use it sometimes. You really, what do we need to use it for? I mean, and it's it doesn't have to become like something mandated to say. To get a point across, you, know, you can get your point across without doing that. But I just, I never, never, never. People in Australia hate me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we love you. <laughs>